kicking off this Peace Out tour. And, uh, you know, that facility out in Lidditz, it's uh, Rock Lidditz. It's uh, amazing. You get everything you need there. We were able to put up the whole show that we do in our arena there. It's perfect, man. We had a, people are so sweet and nice, and uh, we're out in the cornfield. Yeah, Steven's been popping up. He stopped in a uh, hardware store, I think it was, took his picture. He loves his fans, and I think that's so cool. He bought a shower head, I guess, for there or on tour. And then he just uh, popped into a music store as well. Bought some old amps, I heard. So it's great to have you in the area. We got bragging rights. It's good to be in in the city now. And uh, this is going to be an amazing tour. And and, uh, the guys are so excited and and on fire. And the band's never sounded better. I'm so thrilled to be part of this, man. I I pinch myself every time because I'm playing with legends. I hate for it to see it say peace out. But it's got to come to end at some point. But who knows how long it'll last. They could keep it going for a while. So, But what better place to start it here? in Philadelphia. I mean, come on, man. It's going to be amazing. There's so much history with you and Aerosmith in our great city of Philadelphia. And I mean, I'm sure Steven's going to tell so many stories. I believe I counted, you played our Spectrum 25 times, Wells Fargo Center 5, FM Center Outdoors in Camden. It was 6, Tower Theater once, good old Emerald City on Route 70 in Cherry Hill once, Schubert Theater, so much Aerosmith history. So like you said, great place to kick it off. Show Saturday night. Buck, how long have you been playing with Aerosmith? You and me go back to Whitford St. Holmes. Just saw yeah. you a couple months ago with Joe Perry Project in Atlantic City. You're also with Alice Cooper and Joe on the Hollywood Vampires. That's right, man. I'm so thankful to Joe Perry. He has me in three bands. You know, the Joe Perry Project, which I'm the MD for, and yeah. uh, Hollywood Vampires, and of course, Aerosmith. It's going almost 10 years now I've been with Aerosmith, which is hard to believe. Of course, you know, with the pandemic, you've got to take off two years, but uh, mm-hmm. that always adds adds more time to it, but um, man, it's been a, a dream gig for me. I mean, it's a singing gig. You know, I sing with Steven. Yeah. I get to sing all the harmonies with him. I'm a singer first, you know, and uh, the fact that I can play keys and acoustic in the show as well. It's the right perfect gig for me. I, I'm living the dream. What can I say? The living the dream with the Toxic Twins for almost 10 years. Wow. Yeah. You really. mentioned what you do. You have your own band as well, and you're out with uh, Brother Kane when you're not with Aerosmith. I know, man. Well, Damon Johnson of Brother Kane, you know, he's a brother from another mother. Yeah. We both come from Alabama, and, um, you know, Damon decided he reform Brother Kane, and uh, he wanted me to be a part of it. And I was thrilled because, like I said, I wanted to help my brother out. He's got tours going on this later in this year in October. Unfortunately, I won't be able to be a part of that because I'll be out with Aerosmith. And also in Brother Kane is uh, from the Tommy Kiefer band on guitar, Tony Higby. And you also have your solo material, correct? I've got, I've got my own music coming out soon. Yeah. Uh, in probably another month or two, we're going to release the first single and uh, an album coming shortly. Oh, can you tell us anything without really telling us anything what what are we in for any gems any chestnuts in the set list anything special maybe with the light show or i I will tell you this expect to be your mind blown (laughs) okay it's going to be off the chain there will be the obvious songs that everyone expects to hear and some juicy deep cuts that uh, you know, you haven't heard the band play in a while. Wow. I like that word, juicy. And yeah, the Aerosmith catalog, so much great material. Um, they sneak some of those in there. So for those fans, they're going to appreciate it. Can you tell us anything about the uh, production of the stage? It's it's sort of in the round. You know, there's the, the back part of the circle of the arena. We'll be able to see the back side of the stage. Mm. And they'll be able to, the band will be able to turn around and perform to them. The production, the lights, the video wall, you just... Once we see it, the first show, then everyone will know. They'll see the, the iPhone videos of it. It's it's spectacular. It's it's a whole nother level. Buck, with uh, the Rolling Stones, Keith, of course, fed off of Charlie. Who do you follow? Do you follow Steven or do you follow Joe? <laughs> <laughs> well, as a singer, I have to follow Steven. Okay. Uh, because that's my job number one. Yeah, I don't want him to put a nervous twitch in your eye like you do with Joey Kramer. <laughs> but as a player, generally, he follows Joe and I follow the drummers. So that's kind of how it works because as a you know piano, which mainly I play that in a B3, you know, it's a percussion instrument and you've got to play off the rhythm. The drummer is the heartbeat of the band. And if you don't have a good drummer, you don't have a good band. And fortunately, we have JD, Don Douglas, who is the uh, drummer. You know, he's been subbing in for, for Joey Kramer. And, mm-hmm. uh, and and John is a, an amazing drummer. We're lucky to have him. Well, I am so happy for you taking the time out of your night tonight to call in the WMMR. We're speaking to Buck John. 